This is my brand new Kershaw Lucha. And uh, I wanted to show this in this collection selection because who knows, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a full on review of this thing because I don't have many of the type to compare it to and I don't have much experience with the type to compare it to. Now, um, I've had a bunch of butterfly knives in my life, all this super cheap martial arts store variety. Let's see if I can back up and do this. I'm not a big uh, flipper guy who does all the tricks and stuff, but I do really appreciate the mechanism of the butterfly knife and its weaponness. Uh, this, uh, the lucha, what does lucha mean in Spanish? Lucha libre fight, fighting or something? I don't know. Uh, you can tell me below, or I could ask my wife, but she's not around right now. Uh, so I, this is definitely a useful, useful knife. It's not just for playing around with and doing aerobatics with. Uh, you've got a four and a half inch blade, and that that's about uh, the traditional length of a ballet song. They run a little bit long. You've got the long handles. Now, this these are milled out beautifully and very light. I'm not sure of the material. I should have looked that up before I started this video. But from the $115 price point, I would I would submit that it's probably aluminum. It feels very light, and the price is about an aluminum price. Uh, you've got this lock here that none of my cheap ass martial arts uh, store ballet songs have this feature, but it's so simple. Just put that standoff there and a stop pin right there, and that stops the blade uh, from making contact with the with the lock. See when it comes that that stop pin. Now on all the cheap ones I have, there's no stop pin there. It goes all the way down and bang, you got a little ding there on your on your cheap blade. Not on this. Oh boy, it's hard to do these on uh, on camera when you're holding your phone. But look at that blade. Beautiful clip point blade with that cool 2020 swedge. I call it that because a lot of the Kershaw knives that came out in 2020 have a swedge like this. Kind of unique, kind of running parallel to the cutting edge as opposed to um, sloping down to meet the cutting edge or parallel with the swedge or with the clip itself. Speaking of clips, this one does not have a clip. I love the idea of a clip on, the, on one side so you can just carry it... Uh, in your pocket without it flopping around. I put this in a little leather sheath kind of thingy that uh, sits in my pocket, keeps this oriented north to south like this. And of course I keep it locked. And uh, with the lightness of this thing and the relative thinness of it, it's, uh, you can just drop it in your left hand pocket or in any pocket and barely notice it's there except for the length. So uh, this is a really nice knife. I mean, butterfly knife or not, this thing is a really, really nice tool. Uh, by the way, there is zero play back and forth with these pivots, which if you look closely are have uh, bearings in the pivot there. Um, very nice feature to have bearings. Of course, it makes sense in something like this. Um, so yeah, no slop side to side, and just none of the bad things that I that I've come to expect in a butterfly knife through my uh, through my history with the cheap ones. It looks like I got some schmutz on the edge there. I'll have to clean off when when I'm done. So Kershaw Lucha, I have a feeling this one will stay in the collection uh, because it it is representing something that I don't have, <laughs> which is a fine and well-made butterfly knife. This is 14C28N, made in America. And I don't know what that is. I think that's their in-house design logo. It reminds me of the Rebel Force logo in Star Wars, I think. It looks like a Star Wars type logo. Anyway, that's it. I could go on and on, but I really like this knife. This is the Kershaw Lucha. Check it out.